Hello everybody. Stacy here. How are y'all doing? Um, I'm excited. I got some new stuff in the mail that I ordered. Um, you know, I went and got supplies from Michael's the other day and they didn't have everything in stock that I wanted. So it came today and that was some deco art, uh, extreme sheen combination packs, different colors. Um, let's see, I opened one of them and that's the Crown Jewels one. Um, it's got, um, green, deep sapphire, emerald green, uh, pink tourmaline, and coral, which is really pretty. And then this one, I haven't opened yet, and it's got, um, I don't know what all, um, it's got the copper, silver, Sapphire looks like some more pink turn line. Um, I'm not sure what all these other colors are. Um, I know there's copper and silver and those colors, but I'm not sure what these others are. Looks like 24 karat gold, maybe some bronze, and maybe that champagne color. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, I was already wanting to do another one of these spin type pours and um, I wanted to do something with green and blue and gold so um, what I decided to do was <coughs> um, use that other the pack that I opened and so I've got deep sapphire I've got um, uh, emerald green then I'm using a light blue that's uh, an Amsterdam color and then the coral from deco art and the gold that I'm using is Old Gold by uh, Artis Loft. And uh, I'm trying to get this situated here. I think the key to this is being able to spin it right. Being able to spin it fast enough uh, without it, you know, coming loose. And mine's probably going to come loose because I don't have it taped down there anyway. Um, it's just kind of sitting on top of there, so um, we'll just see how it goes. Um, I mixed up some more pillow paint, and this has got almost the last of the GAC 800 that I have. <laughs> so I'm pretty soon going to be... Now, I did a couple yesterday that didn't have any GAC in them, and they did not craze. Um, I can show you one of them is right over there. Um, and they did not craze. So, I, I've said all along that I feel like that Glidden Premium paint is good enough paint that it won't craze, um, unless you have too much of it on there. So, there's two over there I can show you, um, that did not craze that, um, well, there's only one that I didn't use the GAC in, and I can show you that one, but it did not craze, um, and uh, it turned out pretty. So, um, anyway, we'll just see how this turns out. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with the blue. This is Deep Sapphire. And I have not added anything to this. I didn't dilute it with any water. And I didn't add any glue or um, silicone or anything. It's just straight paint and no pigments it's just straight paint and um pouring medium and i'm using the bright tone as my varnish in this pouring medium i'm using um three parts glidden premium semi-gloss base three and one part um bright tone and i'm i'm liking how that is working the bright tone is amazing i think um Thank you, Jen. Um, it's, I go through it a lot. You know, it's expensive. But I really like it. And I'm going to kind of layer this a little bit differently, too. Because I did this on my last one. And I really liked how it turned out. That's the emerald. And this is... Um, I don't know what the name of this color is. It's kind of a sky blue, um, by Amsterdam. And 
and um, I'll put a little bit more in the middle. Put a little blob in the middle. Okay, and then I have this is coral, um, the Deco Art Coral, and I think it's beautiful. It's a really pretty color. I said this is old gold it's also got a little bit of interference um gold put in it it's interference um gold by um arslaw all right now we got our cell activator and this is a little bit thicker version of it. I've got um, one part uh, Amsterdam titanium white paint and um, two parts Floetrol instead of three. It's, my canvas is tilted because of the table being tilted. So, Oh, and guess what else I got? Woohoo! New torch. New torch. Um, my old torch I'm going to put it over here in a minute. It um, was, you know, I told y'all something fell out of it. And ever since then, it will come on but not stay on. And then I have the big torch. But that sets off my fire alarm. And I know that's annoying. So, I got a new one. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to blow this out. Let me get these little booties. I see right here just a few that the bright tone makes a lot of air bubbles but they disappear because they don't cause any problems from pouring your heart out says take your time on that part and I don't like these big blobs of white in the middle so I brought my little um, my little uh, airbrush in here so if I want to break that up some I think I can but I'm not sure maybe I should try it right If I can get it plugged in. Let's see. Come on out. Ow. Okay, I gotta move this a little closer. I'm trying not to knock a lot 
and the tripod down. There's so much paint on here, I can't see where the button is to push it. she says take your time on this part you know um, waiting on the paint to come back down blowing the paint out and she's using a um, like a hair accoutrement to um, blow hers out with and that seems to do well uh, pushing the right amount of air out you know that's always my issue is I can't ever get happy with how much air is, you know, how fast the air is coming out or how much air is coming out or whatever. But I don't want that big, uh, huge white blob in the center. There was something I could probably do about it. And we'll see how this turns out. It's already smaller. Mine a little bit in the center. Oops, I just dipped my hand in the paint. Let's see how that turns out. Let's spin it and see what it does. Okay. I think the key about the crazing thing is is like Julie that's her name I finally figured out her name I'm pouring your heart out she said that the she doesn't have the hasn't had the craving crazing problem on these kind of pours and she thinks it's because um, you you lose so much paint when you're spinning it so maybe that's um, uh, maybe that's going to be a helpful thing. I think that's pretty. I don't know that I'm going to do much of anything else to it. I like it. Um, I 
it doesn't have a whole lot of paint left on there. It's not moving very much. I may tilt it just a little bit. I don't know if they're tilting theirs. I didn't watch all the video. I was just wanting to see how they set up the spinner thingy. Um, this is really pretty. I don't know that I should tilt it very much. I don't want to distort all that lacing and and stuff. It's pretty. I'm gonna watch the rest of it and see if they tilt after they get done. I don't think they do. I bet they don't. But I don't know. I, I didn't watch that far. And I do think these work better with just fewer colors. I think um, I think too many colors overwhelms them a little bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. I see a little bit of smooth there. Let's see if I can get that off. I don't know how I keep ending up with smudge on my canvas because I stir extremely thoroughly and uh um these are well i didn't wipe this one down but they're usually wiped down or they're brand new uh canvases because i've got some new ones that i've been using from artist loft that i got when i went to tyler the other day and um yeah, I'm not going to fool with that anymore. I, I don't mind that much white in the middle. That doesn't look bad. I just don't like those big blobs of white. Um, that's pretty. Let me let y'all see up close. Let me get rid of all the wires. I'm going to unplug everything. Oh, the other thing I got. Looky here. New apron. Woo! Black. And it's totally clean. Well, it was. <laughs> um, but these are thinner and they're not as hot so I like them and I got two from Amazon in a pack for like eight or nine dollars so you can't beat that two for nine dollars or eight dollars whatever it was yeah that's pretty y'all I like that let's have a look you know I, I get my money on the 17th and it's usually gone by close around the 18th because I always have so much that I need <laughs> and um I just ha and these days I have to order you know of course I got I went to pick this stuff up from Michael's so I didn't pay shipping on that and Amazon you don't pay shipping but um still it's a pain yeah I like that that's pretty okay y'all tell me what you think Stop and leave me a comment. Uh, I love hearing from y'all. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll be making some more videos. Because that's what I do. And um, y'all continue coping and being strong with all this mess. It's hard. But staying connected with each other helps me. Um, and uh, I thank you too for that. So y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. I also thank uh, the the pretty, pretty talented lady from Pouring Your Heart Out, Julie. Um, for posting her videos so people like me can uh, have somewhere to go when we don't know what we're doing um, everybody has to ask questions sometimes everybody has them all right y'all have a good rest of your day and I'll see you soon bye bye